Hello everyone. In this video of the React Native series, uh, we'll be going over setting up our environment and creating a simple iOS application. So to get started, uh, you'll want to navigate to the React Native site, uh, which is reactnative.dev, and click on this Get Started button here. And then on the left side here, you've got a menu. Uh, you're going to want to click on this Environment Setup and click on setting, setting up the development environment. So these are the options here. Uh, you can use Expo, uh, you can use the React Native CLI. I'll be using this and I'm working on macOS and we'll be building an iOS application. So all the dependencies that are required in this case, uh, you'll need Homebrew first to install all these other dependencies here. So you'll need Node and Watchman. So let's get started with that. So if you don't have Homebrew installed already, you can just click on the Homebrew link there and copy this command and you can just open your terminal and paste that in. And just enter your password. Okay, so Homebrew is installed. So basically what Homebrew allows you to do is basically install other packages and so on. Uh, it's, a, it's called the missing package manager for macOS or Linux. So once that's sorted, I think the next step here is to install Node. You can go ahead and run this command or you can go to the official Node site. Let's say Node. And you can download the package from there. So once that's done, uh, you can just click on the package and we're going to go ahead and install it. And we'll just click continue. Uh, continue. No, uh, agree. Yeah, continue. And install. Then just type in your password here. And it's done. So to confirm that it has been installed, uh, you just go onto your terminal and you just type in node. And then you should see the version, oh yeah, well, you should see the version that's been installed in this case, it's version 14.7, which is uh, the one we just recently downloaded here. Okay. And then going back to the documentation here, uh, the next package to install will be Watchman. Okay, this is, oh, okay, there we go. Well, I already have it installed, so it might take a little longer for some of you if you don't have that installed already. So the next step is to install Xcode, which is Apple's IDE for developing uh, macOS, iOS, and watchOS applications. So you get this by going to the App Store and searching for Xcode. So just go ahead and download this. Uh, it's 11.7 gigs, it might take a while, but I already have this installed on my computer, so you go ahead and do that. And then once you have Xcode installed, the next step here, it says, uh, if you already have Xcode installed on your system, make sure it's uh, version 10 on your, and you should be able to update it through uh, App Store as well. So once you have it installed, you're just going to open your Xcode application. So you have Xcode opened, uh, you're going to go into pre Xcode here, Preferences, and it says go to Locations. Uh, where is that? Okay, there we go. And install the tools by selecting the most recent version in the command line uh, tools dropdown. So basically, you're going to go here and select whatever options are there. Uh, you select the latest one from the options that are listed there. And enter your password and click OK and I guess uh, that's pretty much it let's see what else is there okay installing an iOS simulator so let's see okay I guess you can close this 
and then it says to install a simulator, uh, open Xcode, go to preferences, select components, and then under here you're going to select the version of iOS you wish to use, I guess. So in this case you've got version 14.3 and well, there's 14.4 above that and then you click whichever one you want to install i've already got a few emulators already set up so once you're done there you can move on to the next step which is uh installing coco pods uh coco pods so coco pods is built in with ruby and it will be installable with the default ruby available on macOS. so by default uh, mac os comes with the version of ruby installed and i guess this should be installed as well but I think we can just go ahead and run this command maybe to get the updated version of Cocoa Pods or something. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, Cocoa Pods has been installed. So once you have everything set up and you've got node installed, you should be able to run this command here to set up your React Native project. So let's go ahead and copy that into our terminal. And let's give that a second to run. Okay, the setup has been completed. Once that is installed, uh, you're going to have to navigate into the folder and see the awesome projects. Awesome project. Good. Uh, and uh, you can just type in code here to open it in your Visual Studio Code. So once that's open, uh, here you get to see the project structure. Uh, we'll go through this in the next coming video, but basically I uh, want to run the iOS uh, application. So what you're going to do for that, you're going to open your finder, go on to the project. Now uh, is it awesome project? And then you go into iOS and then you open your workspace file. So we'll just give that a sec to run. Let it load. So here in the top, uh, you, get to select, you get to select the emulator that you want to run. So we're going to select iPhone 12 here, and then we can just click on this button there. And if you're new to Xcode, uh, you'll see all your errors and warnings on this left side here. Uh, so let's wait for this to build and see if it's going to run. So if everything's successful, the iPhone 12 emulator should open with the application running in it. And there we go. So this is our awesome project that we've just set up and this is powered by React. So just going back to Watchman, uh, the dependency which we installed a little earlier on. So basically what this allows you to do um, in this main app file here, so any changes I make here, this is uh, React Native. So if you're familiar with JavaScript or React, uh, this should be pretty much uh, familiar to you.
So what no Watchman allows you to do, as I make edits to this document, those edits should reflect in real time in this emulator. So it's still loading here. Let it just get past the splash screen. So what's happening now, it's basically compiling all the JavaScript uh, files into the native code. And there we go. So this is the basic iOS application that we've just set up. So in the next set of videos, uh, we'll be going over customizing this and yeah. So uh, that should be it for now.